Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and this is Carly's Crafts and Interests. Today we're going to be doing an author review on the author Catherine Eyre. I have just a few of her books and I've just started reading her books recently. I've had them for a while and I thought I'll give them a try and now I can start to, you know, review bit about her and a bit about them with you. So here we go. Now Catherine Aird is just a pen name of Kim Hamilton McIntosh. That's the author's actual name. And she was born in 1930 in Huddersfield, England. She's still alive. She's still with us. And she has been writing plenty of different books. Um, her most famous ones that I have are all about the, the Callisford Chronicles, like this one, like Some Die Eloquently. And it's a fictional town, but it can be, um, you can picture the town that she has done as a, an English small town. I've lived in England myself. I've lived in there twice. Um, the first, when I was a teenager, I lived in the Cotswolds. I lived outside of Bishop's Cleeve in a little town called Gotherington, and I went to school at Bishop's Cleeve, which is the closest place where school was. I went to British school. I wore, I wore, I wore a uniform. Me and my brother did. And so, I know... I, a bit about English um, country towns because I've lived in them before. I've I've also lived in London with my husband, so I have two different. I have a city um, experience and I also have a country experience. I prefer um, the country experience because in my life I have lived in rural neighborhoods. But enough about me. Let's go back to Catherine Aird or Kim Hamilton McIntosh, whichever you want to refer to her as. This is just her pen name. Now, I have just a few of her books, but she, of the series that I have been collecting, there is about 26 of them, and they all have the Detective Sloan and his partner, D.C. Crosby, in them. Except for the fr except for one of them does not this one a most contagious game right here I'm not quite sure where the cover of this went originally but this is what I have here if you can read it it's kind of hard because it's in dark purple I've been reading this one it's about um, an older couple they live in this um manner that they, they, they have been living in and he gets curious about a wall one time and you know and and he discovers that there's a skeleton hidden inside and he gets very interested in like why and how and it's been there for a, a good long like over a hundred years and so the quite you know a good part of the mystery is you know why was he in there how did he get there? And why did the guy that did, you know, did about it of, you know, um, repair work and things like that, why did his father know about it? And, and, and why did Owen come to, you know, and why was it never talked about before? So, the four that I have, and I'm getting another one on the way. It'll be a while before I get the whole collection. Because she has done but a bit. Um, the one that I showed you is the... And then we got Some Die Eloquent here. And then we, I have Henrietta Who. This is a larger print book. I am also start been reading that one as well. About... A girl's mother who we found on the side of the road 
and it turns out that who she thought was her mother didn't have any children, and so the girl's wondering, well, who the heck am I? And so that's part of the mystery, and I'm still re reading about that one. And then we have little Nell as well. And so those are the four that I have, but there's many more to, to, to collect. A bit a bit more about Catherine Aird or Kim Hamilton McIntosh. When she was younger, she was bedridden. And she and it um information doesn't say why, but she got over it. And when she was older, she worked in her father's um medical practice as a dis, you know dispenser of medicine. And so she did get better. Her first book was was published in 1966 and it was called a Re the religious body i still need to find that one but that was the first one she did she has gotten a few prestigious awards in her time in for um she has an mbe which is a member of the british empire and that, well, it wasn't for writing it was actually for her help with the girl guides or we would say here in america the girl scouts and so, for her work there, and with them, she got that award. So that's pretty cool that she got that. She was also the chair of the Crime Writers Association for a year. She's gotten the Diamond Dagger Award, and also the Crime Writers Association Golden Handcuffs. So I guess that's a, kind of a prestigious award in crime mystery writing. And so that is a bit about her, and I am still diving into her books. I've had them for a while. I just haven't... I've been reading other things. And so far, they're quite interesting and different. Um, I'm enjoying them. I'll have... I'll have um, some of the writing, depending on where it is, a little bit old-fashioned a bit, I find. A little, a little bit. And some of it has a lot of colloquial um regional kind of um dialect in it you know the way people like in the i guess you know in some of the country you know out in the country of where this is supposed to be you know where she has set this in Callisford are supposed to live and so they kind of they don't talk like um they don't talk like the queen or you know very you know there's a lot of um it's hard to describe. Kind of country-ish. And I've noticed in the writing. But it's, it's fun. It's good. Um, and so for, and the writing is, is, is definitely, you know, good. This one I, I like because it has bigger writing. You know, you don't have to be an older person to, to like larger print. If you find that, you know, small print is harder to read, then go for it. It makes it a lot more enjoyable to read, in my opinion. And so, this is my um, um, wrap-up of Catherine Ayrt or Kim Hamilton Macintosh, whichever you want you, you want to say, because, the, 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 you know, she go, she's known as both. And if you haven't checked her out, check her out. She's a pretty, she's a good, she is a good um, novelist. And she has, she has done a lot of different, you know, writing for many, many years. She's still with us, too. I mean, she's 93. That's pretty, you know, that's great that, that you know, that she's still around. Not all of the ones that I like to read are, are living still. And so it's nice to find someone who is still writing you know, still, or at least still around, you know, to appreciate. I hope you enjoy this book review, and if you enjoy more, I will be doing more, because I have many um, different mystery authors to review. It's something I like to do. Um, authors you may not have come across. Um, now you're, you know, more than just Agatha Christie, and, you know, and some that you may um be more popular some that you haven't heard of and i like and i have and i'll share with you 
Alright. Um, I hope you have a great day. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I would be really ecstatic if you did. I, I, I always get... I'm always happy when I see another person has subscribed. Please like, you know. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. I don't have any set of things set up that cost, you know, for you know, for money. I don't have that. I'm not that big of a channel. I hope to be maybe one day, you know. But for now, I'm just happy to have people that will watch me, like to watch me. And like what I do. I do things that interest me, crafts. Uh, book reviews, and you'll see um, little shorts of my cats doing this, that, the other, because, you know, how cats are, and pets can do zany things. Hope you have a great day, and come back for more. I hope you will, and have a great day. Bye for now.